Hi, my name is Christelle and this is Untethered Love. Welcome to my channel. We are here with another reading. Before we get started, if you'd like a personal reading, whether that be tarot, astrology, or a mixture of the two, uh, links for that are below. I've shuffled the cards, laid them out, so we're going to dive right in immediately. Uh, the At the center of the read, we have the Eight of Cups which is incredibly fitting given that we are just leaving the full moon in Aquarius. The moon is now reducing in size and the release is happening. Over the next two weeks, we will have this sort of release of energy. And when I look at this, what stood out to me was the red cloak and red boots. And for me, that signifies when I think astro, when I do these things, I often think from an astrological perspective, that is like my language. I think of the North Node in Aries. And um, the North Node, if you don't know the mythology, it is a dragon that has been cut in half, um, Rahu and Ketu. So the North Node, Rahu, is the head of the dragon. So it's this head, mouth, very like mental, obsessive energy without a stomach. So it's like this bottomless pit. With the North Node whether it be uh, collectively as we experience it or what your North Node is in your personal chart, that area of life can often be a place where we can have a little bit of an obsession, um, a deep desire, a hunger that never seems to be satiated. And collectively, we'll be experiencing this North Node in Aries. And with that Aries energy, I think a lot of us will be feeling this almost uncontrollable hunger, desire to exert or put forth energy action into our instinctual ways of being the or not the original but the um how do let me frame it this way if you think about the person you would be if you were not subject to the pro the negative programming all of us have to battle if you didn't have to deal with patriarchy sexism racism ableism fat phobia um capitalism what wh who would you be who is that innocent inner child that lives within you that is un that is not tarnished by these external conditions that is what aries that aries is the first sign it is the baby of the zodiac and children babies are purely acting on instinct and there is going to be a desire to get back to the place of where you can operate from instinct, from your gut, from your heart, um, and move in a way that is not determined by what everyone, everything has been telling you is the proper way the normal way, the um, acceptable way, acceptable desires, um, acceptable careers, acceptable partners, 
acceptable self-expression. Um, this is why <laughs> if you spend any time, I don't even think you have to be necessarily online, but if you are interacting with our society at this time, you cannot escape the conversations about racism, about sexism, about transphobia, homophobia. You can't escape those things because now more than ever the divine planet earth is looking for us to come back to who we really are to come back to the truest expression of ourselves to come back to the mission the reason we came here to be the keepers of the earth, to honor the earth, to honor the oceans, to honor one another, to look at each person that you encounter every day as a brother or sister, to honor yourself and love yourself and move in accordance to the frequency of what it means to be the individual unique expression that is you. And this Aries energy, this desire, it's gonna, it's gonna rile up some things. And Aries also has this energy of war. And <laughs> it is, we are in a time of war. And I don't mean to say this to scare you, to um, make you cower in fear, but it, it, we are going through spiritual water warfare right now. And oftentimes when people hear that, we're thinking um, a lot of us have a lot of religious uh, superstitious indoctrination where we think there's this boogeyman or Lucifer or Satan or demons that are attacking us when the the Lucifer the demons the Satan is the are the is the programming is the way is the thought forms the belief systems that would have you believe that you are not enough that you are um too much that you are um unworthy that others are unworthy that you are better than others that this planet is not worth respecting that money will be the root of your happiness by any means necessary under this capitalism system um you will do what you gotta do to be on top. Having this sort of, um, that is the demon. Those beliefs are the demons. Those ways of thinking are the demons. That is the evil. And so it's so important to spiritually fortify yourself at this time. We have Saturn in Pisces. Saturn creates structure, builds foundation. It is the, creates, it crystallizes, it brings into form the things that we repetitively take action towards, do, or think. And with it in Pisces, it's so important to spiritually build yourself up it's really important to have a spiritual practice at this time because there are so many distractions <laughs> the tiktoks and the instagram and the twitter and the celebrity scandals and the political scandal there's so much to distract you from the truth of you And um, 
building a spiritual practice is going to be paramount in order to survive, in order to thrive in this war time. Um, this Eight of Cups was grounded with the Death card, the Ace of Swords, and the Three of Swords. Pay attention to your thoughts. You have the choice to, one, your thoughts are not yours. <laughs> they come from every which way. You are actually just the observer of your thoughts. So do not over identify with your thoughts. The four, the, the one and the three, four, four of swords. There's a need in harnessing this spiritual fortitude you can create order of your of your thoughts. You can create you can have a certain level of rest on the mental level. Think of four of swords. You can have clarity on whatever you are going through. You can have discernment on whatever you see. And it all comes down to having that spiritual fortitude. I will say you are not the same person you were. Even three months ago, you're not that same person. You're thinking in different ways. And in garnering these new ways of thinking, new ways of perceiving, obtaining, kind of seeing things from the 360, having an objective overview of things. Everything that you have gone through, you can see it from a different perspective so that it's not a sword in your heart but actually a lesson worth its weight in gold. When I asked, what are we stepping away from? What came out was the Hierophant, Six of Cups, um, magician, five of pentacles, and strength. And again, these long standing um, forces, systems of oppression that we have had to feed into in order to survive. We're stepping away from that. And the way, <laughs> coming into human form, into this existence, onto planet Earth is a trauma within and of itself. And um, under these systems, these foundations, all of us have, have dealt with some level of oppression, of trauma, of just fucked up experiences that leave us feeling emotionally, mentally, physically, financially crippled. The answer or the trajectory from leaving this five five from leaving this conflicting way of being this conflicting frequency that is not in alignment with what is the truth of 
us, of you, of me, is not to go the direct opposite direction. Oftentimes when you are um, targeted or harmed by another, sometimes our natural reaction is to do the exact, either to perpetuate the same thing that that person or that system perpetuates or to go off the far end and do the opposite. And the reason why I say this is because if you look, the Hierophant is pointing up and the Magician is pointing down. And there's this, well, you did this, so I'm going to be off on the far end. And that in and of itself is not the answer. It's just perpetuating this, the same thing, but from a different side. It's the same coin just a different side. It's important to, again, come into this level of overview, of um, have this 360 view of whatever you have been through, whatever experiences you've had to endure, or come through and in doing that you won't do the exact opposite or necessarily perpetuate what you had to experience but you're going to be able to make kind of like a 90 degree <laughs> you're going to do something completely different it is an innovation Think of Aquarius. Um, and think Capricorn to Aquarius, both Saturn ruled. And it's not that it's not cancer. We don't want to tap into cancer energy. We want to tap into Aquarius, which is next door. You know? It is it is the evolution not the opposition and that is the key to breaking the cycle that is the key to destroying these systems we can't do the opposite <laughs> we have to completely innovate And when I asked, what are we stepping into? A whole bunch of cards popped out. We've got the Two of Swords, Seven of Cups, Lovers, Nine of Cups, Nine of Wands, paid, or Knight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. We got options, baby. <laughs> We've got options and we have choices to make. And again, that spiritual fortitude, when I see the nine of cups, the knight of cups and the nine of cups with the seven of cups, maintaining your spiritual practice, maintaining your spiritual fortitude, maintaining your faith, will help you to make the decision to answer the call. To know what's worth defending. To know what's worth preserving. Um, and there's so much in being true 
to yourself, the being true to your frequency in aligning yourself with that instinctual intrinsic frequency that is you and moving from this space right here <laughs> moving from there you arrive to the full understanding of your value of your worth of how important you specifically are to the frequency of the collective coming into the understanding overstanding of the value of every person you encounter of every animal, of every fruit and vegetable, of every rainstorm, of every season. Really understanding the value of everything and how all of it works together in this beautiful ecosystem and really understanding how in community that each of us has a strength, that each of us has a contribution. And if we are willing to work together, we can really build whatever we want. Now things will never, I won't say never be, we are far away from a utopia, <laughs> but there can be, I truly believe it's possible for us to work together to create this. This isn't created by one person. The individualism is rampant in our society. And I am a perpetuator and victim of it as well. This does not happen alone. It happens in community. And so recognize your value, but also the value of others. And I want to say nature as well. You see the two little dogs. I never even pay attention to those little dogs down there. But also our animals, our vegetation, our land. Incredibly valuable. And we have to work together. Um, I pulled some oracle cards as well. And what came out, again, a whole bunch of cards popped out. We've got the Divine Masculine. I don't know if I'm too far up. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I really like the way these cards look. Merkaba. Delight. Synergy. And dynamic and like I was saying before with this synergy and dynamic it is not just you <laughs> this journey is not entirely dependent on you although you are important it's important to meet others who are like-minded who want to build with you, who want to create with you, who value you and who you value. I will also say we, as a society, we live under a patriarchy. And again, 
it's not <sighs> this divine masculine energy there's like a healing of the divine masculine that is is happening particularly with the the north node and chiron working together in aries a masculine sign the first masculine energy of the zodiac there is a deep root because again aries red um that root chakra there is a deep rooted healing that is happening with the divine masculine whether you and it doesn't matter if you do identify as a masculine person or not we all carry this energy within us um check your divine masculine <laughs> uh put it into check and it's not about mindlessly working you know the, we have all these i'm saying all this these goals that we may have as collective and to reach that utopia and you can't get there with this purely from this masculine energy and this is the way things are done and structure and although we need those things we need the structure we need the um the direction but allow delight to enforce your action do things that come easy to you that is the magic the things that come easy to you or not even easy to you but sometimes just the things that bring you delight the things that bring you joy the things that spark this like yummy i am excited about this or i'm deeply interested in this or this has got my wheels turning and i'm so curious allow that to direct your will and and the things that delight you you already know it because some of you are gonna be like well i don't know what it is you already know it because it's quite literally in your dna You can forget it for a moment and coming into condensing down into this physical form requires you to have this lapse of memory. But the memory is, is here, is here. The memory is here. And so when you get into the action of delight into the expression of delight you will physically feel good and even if it is painful or difficult it's gonna feel like that yummy pain <laughs> i don't know how many of you you know if any of you work out or do any sort of physical fitness or play sports there is Although sometimes, I know for me, if I'm working out and like I'm really working the muscles in it, I am in pain. But it's like this good pain. And sometimes you get to that point where it actually feels good in your muscles. And it, yeah, that's what it's going to feel like. It'll be difficult, but it'll feel good. Um, I don't want this. I, I feel like I say this every video. I don't want this to get too long. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Let me just pull. Okay. One more card. Um, just wrap up this. This video is already longer. I wanted these to be like 20 minutes max. We'll see where I'm at. I mean, I get one more card. She wolf. Again, that.
insatiable desire to act from pure instinct, from the pure frequency of you. Not conditioned by society, but the wild, the wildest parts of you. And in some ways, the truest parts of you. Um, okay. <laughs> that is all. I hope this was um, enlightening, enjoyable. Uh, yeah, all of the good things. Um, again, if you'd like a personal reading with me, uh, links are below. Have a beautiful day. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>